Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Media True Nerd, and welcome to 101 Ways to Die, a game I kind of stumbled across on a list of games that was coming out in 2016, and I could hardly resist. This game is it's kind of like it feels like a, a distant descendant of something like Lemmings, but in reverse. You'll see what I mean when we get into it. This game isn't out yet. This is like an early version. I contacted the dev. They were kind enough to let me have an early version of this. At the time of recording, the launch is scheduled for March 22nd. So a little bit coming up, but I kind of want to take a look at it now because it's really quite interesting. Maybe I'll take a look at the full version when it launches, but yes, this is just a little early version without the full game. So let's have a look at this then. Basically, what you're in is you are in a little kind of 2D platformer, what looks like a very dangerous laboratory indeed. Our little Frankenstein monster creatures are going to be generated out of this thing over on the right. The Frankensplats, I believe they're called, or just splats for short. They all need to be killed because we are constructing the book 101 Ways to Die, so obviously they all need to die. They need to get over to here, this red thing over here is their exit portal. Now killing him is actually pretty simple, all things considered. We've got ourselves here a one-shot bumper and a mine. So for example, if I put down a bumper here, I can basically put that anywhere that's not a red surface. So it's actually quite open, there's like not a huge amount of kind of restrictive surfaces that are going on there. So I can just kind of put this straight here next to where he spawns. And then once I've got it, I can then just kind of set myself a little bit of a... Uh, yeah, there we are. I can just set the angle. Now that should mean he would be thrown straight up and then probably fall straight back down into the spike pit. That seems like a pretty good angle to me. And just in case that misses, we could also lay a nice mine. Uh, we'd like to lay it here. No, that area is full with uh, that little kind of harpoon gun. So we could put a nice thing over here just to protect ourselves at the very exit. So we've got a mine as an emergency failsafe right over here. So all in all, not too difficult. Let's release the splat and see what he does. I'm not sure quite how clever they are. So the splat gets generated. He kind of wanders over to my little throwy thing, gets thrown up into the ceiling and hits the spikes. Beautiful. Now, that there was the basic objective completed. Except that's only one of two objectives in this game. As you can see, I only got one star. Because it's not about killing the splat, it's about killing it with style. So let's retry that and see if we can do a better job. So bring up the objectives. And what we've got is we've got, yeah, the graduate objective is just kill the splat. Now the master objective tells me what I'm supposed to do. So what I'm supposed to do here is I'm supposed to be laying a bumper... The bumper's got to throw him into the blowy air thing, and the blowy air thing knocks him into the harpoon. The harpoon will fire at anything that crosses its beam. So all I've really got to do is lay a bumper that will throw our little Frankensplat over into here. So that's nice and easy to do. We'll just move our bumper over to here, shall we? And then this little angle should work. That's about right. Yes, okay. This time... He gets generated. I'm assuming, therefore, he must be able to kind of move around sensibly on his own. He doesn't just kind of walk straight into a spike pit. Let's see how he deals with the spike pit. Yeah, he takes a big runny jump. So, like, they're not they're not total lemmings. They're not utter lemmings. They will actually, uh, they will kind of do things by themselves. Ah, but here we are. Into that. And then into the harpoon. And then into the explodey thing. And right back to the beginning. Beautiful. And that there is all three stars. Perfect. So, on to the next level. Kill switch. Let's see what we've got here. Because obviously the game is still introducing new toys for me. Fine, let's have a look see what we've got here. So, a switch. When something moves over it, it switches to on or off. So, the switch is connected to that there blowy thing. Okay, so that will... If someone walks over that, that will turn that off. So, my initial idea is... The first splat walks over that switch. Presumably turns off that fan. That's absolutely fine. He then walks into the slippery goo... And ends up falling to his death in the, uh, the lava pit. Alright, fine. No problem at all. The second splat, however, won't be doing that. The second splat will walk over the switch... Turn the fan back on and thus end up being thrown into the fan. So then if we just put that up there, that should knock him nicely into the fans. Yes, that should do it. Okay, let's see how that does. So let's see if the switches work roughly as I'm thinking they ought to work there. Splat number one wanders in. He approaches the switch, and the switch causes, yes, the, uh, the thing to be turned off. Splat number one. Oh, wait, no, no, wait, sorry. Oh, I'm a fool. That went the wrong way round. But, oh, he goes straight into the... 
Wait, hang on. That actually works accidentally perfectly well, because he's ended up in the lava pit, uh, which is fine. He'll die anyway. Ooh. And then he ends up being blown into the switch. So, I got myself one star for killing all of the splats. But the master objective was actually that both of them had to get themselves killed in the lava pit. All right, let's make that happen then. We'll just use the bumper to speed things up. We don't actually need the switch to do anything because we don't want to use the spikes. We want to be using the lava bath. So that just flings him over the top, straight down. And oh, he bounced off. No, 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 no. As lovely as, lovely as it is that that happened. No, 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 we don't need that. Okay, I've adjusted the angle of the bumper so that the splats should basically hit the ceiling and then come straight back down again, which have no problem coming anywhere near. Yeah, that's it. They should come absolutely nowhere near the fan. Unless they get sucked into the fan. They do! That's the problem. They're getting sucked into the fan. Wait a minute. I've got it. I've got it. Because there's two of them, they turn the fan off, then on again. But if there were three of them, i.e. if the first one walked over it twice... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I am the best. I am the best. So release the splats now. The first one gets created. He's going to walk over the switch, and that's going to turn the fan off. The bumper's one use only. He steps on switch, gets thrown backwards. All right. So now he's going to turn the thing back on, but his friend's going to turn it off again. Fan is now off. Both of them head down towards the slime. They're going to fall in the lava pit, and I'm going to get three stars because I am the best. And that there is three stars. Okay. This this is the second level of the first set of puzzles. That that confused me for a while. Okay, what have we got this time? We have got ourselves an entry point, an exit point over there. Several slopes. Mines. Mines. A swingy death trap. I like a good swingy death trap. Ooh. And spikes on the ceiling. Spikes on the ceiling is Excellent. All right, let's look straight over to the main objective. So kill all the splats, obviously, and then kill two splats by being uh, whacked with, ah, this thing over here. Though admittedly, I would just kind of like one of them to just be thrown straight upwards, I'd say. Straight up into these spikes. That seems like an excellent sort of thing to do. Nice bit of slime here will mean they get some speed up. They will then go straight into, oh, they can go straight into the mine at the bottom. That's quite good. So a mine at the bottom, well, they'll just hit that. Or they'll slide straight off that and hit this mine at the bottom too. And then we'll just see how that works insofar as the splats interacting with the, uh, yeah, the splats interacting with the metal bar. So that guy's going to go down there, slide down the slime, hit the mine, and get, yes, get utterly destroyed. This one goes to there. Also does it. Oh, that's first bloody time. And they do die in a nice visceral fashion, being just kind of splattered like that. And number two, straight down here, onto the mine. Oh, he had a good death. Right, next up, bumper fun. We've got, ah, oh, this is an interesting one. Um, Sometimes you are actually allowed to let one of them escape, but you can still pass the level. But obviously, if you do that, you get a very low rating. Um, The stars you unlock are how you unlock, like, the later, more difficult courses. So that's not probably going to come up in this video, because I think... I was told the demo version I'm playing here only has the first two courses, and this is the second. The first one's just like the training introduction to controls, which is why I didn't show it. So what I've got is a one-shot bumper, a one-shot bumper, and a one-shot bumper. That's interesting. So obviously a very easy thing to do would be simply just to throw both of them straight up into the spikes. But that's a little bit uncreative, I'm guessing. The master objective is to kill all the splats. There's only two of them. I get the feeling the text may just be the slightly the wrong way around there. Uh, kill all the splats is fairly obviously the graduate objective, whereas make a combo of a bumper into a bumper into the uh, into the mine into the spikes is obviously the master objective. Though we shall see. We shall very much see. So, obviously, to do that, I'm going to need to do one bumper, which is going to get me up to the top there. That's going to get me to about, yeah, there-ish. Second bumper, because he has to walk back this way, will put me, uh, if he falls to about here, will put him to about there, which will put him into the mine, which will put him into the spikes. 
And the third guy, because these are one-use bumpers, simply has to go... Well, sorry, the second guy, rather, or the third bumper, just goes straight up into the spikes. So, that should work. Release the splats! I quite like saying release the splats. It's a good thing to say. I'd be a good mad scientist. First splat comes up. Hits the bumper. Gets thrown up. And gets the thing. Hits the mine. Hits the spikes! Oh, yes. And now his strawberry jam is everywhere. And the second guy is going to have the much less interesting death. He's just going to go straight into the bloody ceiling. Now, are you actually going to give me the three stars for that? Yes, you are. Because uh, you've got the text slightly the wrong way around. But I forgive you, game. You're still in development. This is just a demo version. Okay, only one... Go oh, hang on. Two people to kill here. Now they're coming from two directions. All right, so what have I got here? I've got myself one bomb. I think you have to... Uh, that's a manual detonation. You click on it, then like a few seconds later it detonates. And we've also got... A bumper. All right, fine. Uh, one splat can escape or kill all the... Okay, you've just got to kill all the splats for this one. That's absolutely fine. But obviously, I don't have many weapons to actually do that with. Okay. So my idea, obviously, would be that bumper, which is already there as part of the stage, is going to throw someone up into an explosion. In theory, is what I could do is first guy, the guy number one... This guy walks into this bumper, gets thrown up onto that bumper. Uh, it's going to be more sensible to... I wonder if we can just fling him directly like that. Probably, hopefully. We'll just fling him straight there. He then gets flung straight up, hits the explosion, goes straight into the football, the electrified football, and the football rolls down the slope and kills guy number two. But just in case, I'm going to put a bomb up here <laughs> as, as just a backup. Just as a backup, because um, bombs can go on slopes, but they roll down slopes. So this is, this is, I think, fairly obviously the place the bomb's supposed to be. Let's just see how that goes. Uh, we can always reset if it doesn't work. So, splat number one comes here. Come on, come on, speed up. Actually, maybe if I just detonate the bomb. Can I not detonate the bomb? Can I detonate the bomb? Screw it, we'll just detonate the bomb. And, oh, he tried to run, but it didn't go very well. Let's just watch his lovely death there. Fling, fling, it, massive explosion. And the ball hits that guy in a second. Oh, <laughs> yikes. They're a little bit more clever than I gave them credit. He did try to run, but it didn't work. Bless him. All right, I'm going to watch that one more time. Looking forward to my day. Oh, no! So, three splats, because it does say next to them one splat and two splats. So I know I've got three splats coming into this here level. And their exit point is actually... I've no idea how they even get to their exit point. It looks like it's fairly well protected already, quite frankly. All I've got is a single... Oh, that's a bumper. So that's not a one-use bumper. That's a bumper I can use over and over again, which is quite good. Um, let me have a think here. These two guys are going to come off here. They're presumably going to drop down, go along... Hit this bumper. Actually, I'm just going to let them go. I'm just going to let them go. Um, yes, I'm going to let them just go. Because I kind of just want to see how they react to this level. So, guy number one comes through here. Guy number two. And then there's one who's way down in that direction. So, he's going to go over here. And then, presumably, he's going to hit this here bumper. That's not a one-hit bumper. Oh, hang on. What did you just do? And then he... Yeah, they just... Okay, so they can, they've can they actually got a really good jump on them. And for that, I've got a single multi-use bumper and a stun bomb. Stun bombs will stop a splat in their tracks for five seconds. And the electrical charge can be used to cause nearby tools to trigger. And once manually detonated, fuse will explode in two seconds. Okay, so what's the... Uh, what is going to be the range on this old girl? So I could just put that up here... And trigger that ball to go down at the appropriate moment. Yeah, I'm guessing that ball might actually be good enough to take out more than one. We'll see how that goes. And then as for the bumper, well, we've got this guy who's going to come down here. He could just straight up be flung straight into those spikes. And that will probably be a decent starting point. So release the splats, we'll just see how that goes. Let the two splats come here, because these guys seem to fill up pretty quickly. And then in one second, we'll just trigger it. And two. And he's gone. Oh, they're running. They do actually try and... That activates ball number two. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, he managed to escape. You sneaky bastard. You sneaky, sneaky bastard. How, is it? How did you escape? How did you escape from the spikes? Oh, he hit the damn roof. 
Okay. We were almost on to something there. Meanwhile, the master objectives kill three splats with the same one boulder. <sighs> Ooh, that's a bit tough. Right, well, we need to sort this out for a starting point, because that, he hit the thing. So, this time, this time, you definitely won't hit that thing. And meanwhile, if we just try our timings on the bomb a little bit better, that might work. So, what we need to do is we need to scare that splat at the right moment. So just before he comes up to the crest. Yep, there, 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 there we go. That gets him. That throws the ball up. That knocks the second ball down. No, faster, 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 faster. Yes, and then he gets thrown in the spikes. Oh, what's again? That should be two stars, surely. Is that only one star? Oh, because I didn't get them with the same... I didn't get them with the same ball. It was with a different ball. And he... Oh... <laughs> Oh, that's a shame it wasn't the same ball. Ah, and here I've got all sorts of cannons. Um, these obviously I haven't laid. These are laid in the thing. Um, I can basically press... I can just actually just trigger these guys to fire them. And that actually... Wait, that would surely kill them. That would kill all... I could actually kill all of these guys with those cannons with the exception of that one person. But then the question is, how do I kill this one? Because there's no cannon. I've got a stun bomb. Oh, I just need to get the... I just need to get the timings correct. So if I just put the goo here and the stun bomb up here, this is just a question of getting my timing right, surely. So kill one splat with a boulder. Well, I can definitely do that. He'll swing down there and then I'll just trigger the this thing. So all I've got to do is this. Yeah, this is just a question of my timing. So release the splats. And which one's going to fill up first? You. Oh, you don't click on those. They're going to be detonated by the stun bomb. So the stun bomb is going to cause all of these to fire. Oh, okay. I see. Right, okay. Right. Release the splats. But this time, as soon as the first one looks like he's about to be... Yep, two seconds. Drop the thing. Fire one. Fire two. Fire three. And... Oh, hang on. He then doesn't get splattered because the ball was there too soon. Okay, release the splat. Then on the counter two after the first one appears, release the fire the cannon. One, two, fire. Ball was released. Cannon fires. Cannon fires. Cannon fires. Oh, and he gets headshotted by the ball. Wait, hang on. How, who's that guy? How did you all survive? So thing fires. He dies. He dies. Oh, he dies that time. And then he's going to keep falling forever. But the problem is he's, this guy can't die. There's nothing to to kill him with. In fact, yeah, the slime wears off after a while. He escapes. Is he allowed to escape? He is allowed to escape. That's the, that is the graduate one. So the question is... Yeah, he escapes. That's fine. But we still pass. We still pass. That's fine. So you need to find a way. I still get two stars for that because I got the cannons. Oh, that's a nice impact. I still got the cannon timings correct. And the levels are starting to get a bit more complicated here. Three one-shot bumpers, a repeat use bunker, and just a little bit of slime. Uh, three are going to come in, and I'm going to have to fling them up and around. We've got ourselves, that's a bomb. That there is a harpoon that will, anything that crosses its path will be hit with a harpoon and thrown into that mine. Um, all I need to do, however, is get them up onto that platform. The fan will suck them up, blow them up, into the path, and then into the mine. So one of them goes over here, and that's instant death. One of them goes over here. I'm guessing that switch releases that ball. That's an instant death. One of them gets knocked up here, and that there is an instant fling from there into a bomb, which will knock them straight upwards. Well, this doesn't seem like it's that complicated in that case. Oh, wait, hang on. I think I see the issue here. So, 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 The repeat bumper needs to be used to get them into a sensible location. So the repeat bumper needs to get them up on top of this here platform. Uh, repeat bumper. Let's put it here. And then they end up on top of this here platform. Then the single shot bumpers can get them, depending on which way they w decide to walk next. One of them can put them over to... Oh, that's a difficult angle. Actually, yeah, straight in, straight into it directly. Straight shot directly into that. Straight shot 
directly to yeah, and then we can have one that's a straight shot directly up to straight up to there where the fan will get them. Fine, and one that's a straight shot. I would like to put him into that thing, but there's an easier option, of course. The easier option is just to put him straight into the spike. So let's just take that and have an observe, because I don't really have anything right now to do with the the um, the goo. So I'll just use the goo to speed him up a little bit. We'll see what that does. Splat number one comes in. Has a little wand around. Splat number two. A splat number one zooms down the thing. That's fine. He's going to hit... The uh, the repeated bumper. The bumper throws him up there and throws him straight up there into the bomb and into the spikes. He goes over there and ah uh, turns around. Uh, no, but oh, and then they bounce into each other because they try and get back off the platform to go back up the normal way. So what I need to do as a result of that is I need to make the original bumper. Yeah, I need to make the original bumper throw them further onto the platform. Okay, so now I know how it works. So, 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 so. Original bumper goes down. And the original bumper has to throw them up to the platform, like, on the far side of the platform, ideally. So if I just put the original bumper, like, way over here, and then, yeah, right on the far side of that there platform, that's fine. That should hopefully work already. So, okay, same thing applies before, though, admittedly, the slime hasn't quite rendered correctly, but never mind. Is it going to work anyway? No, it's just going to... <laughs> okay, fine. Doesn't make any effective difference. Let's see if this works. Frankensplat number one approaches trap. Hits the first one. Gets thrown straight up into the thing. Harpoon doesn't get hit by the harpoon. Why did the harpoon miss him? Damn it. He goes straight up to there. And you are into the bomb. I think he's dead. I think he just died from full damage. Are they all dead? Oh, wait, hang on. One of the graduate objectives says actually he needs to die by the mine. All right, come on. Come on. Hit the thing. Go up there. Okay, good. He got it that time. He got it that time. That means the next guy's just going to go up into the things. This guy's going to go up here, immediately go this way, and he's going to go to the bomb. Oh, that's everyone dead and someone died to a mine. That's got to be at least two stars. <laughs> that's got to be two stars. So we didn't kill one splat with the uh, the ball, but we did get the mine. A splat didn't escape, and we killed all the splats. Beautiful. Okay, so, oh, blimey, this one's a little bit more on the complex side. So we've got one person coming out from over here, and the exit point's right there. And we've got three coming over here, and again, they just need to walk up the slope to get to the point. Now, this is interesting. I've got multiple one-shot bumpers, but I've also got a cannon. And the cannon, the only thing, the only use I can think of it, because one of the um, the objectives for the master is to kill two splats with the ball. And the only way I can think to do that would be to take the cannon, put the cannon down here. There we are, experiment, see how different tools interact with each other. Would be to put the cannon in here and then aim it straight up at the ball to make the ball fire out of here, and then you're like a little pachinko machine, just bounce through it, until it eventually makes its way down here, and rolls and takes out a couple of these guys. But I also need one of these guys to be killed by, uh, yeah, by the, um, the rolly log thing. So the rolly log thing will throw one of those guys to their death. The problem is the, the other one, <laughs> the other guy over here, and I'm guessing I'm going to need, like, multiple ones of these ones actually just to force the ball into the right location. Several of these one-shot uh, bumpers. So the other one of these needs to throw this guy as far down this way as possible, ideally. I think they can pass through this. Let's just see how that does as a starting point. So we'll fire the cannon now. Why not? The cannon goes this way. And then needs to be... And then, yeah, the cannon ends up in a bad situation. I can fire the cannon again, but it doesn't actually do anything at that point. So that doesn't do any good. And actually, the guys can't actually pass through this. Okay, they just hit that and they get back up again. Alright. We saw where the, um, the ball ended up. The ball ended up hitting this one over here. But if all I do then is I just throw the ball in this direction, 
it will possibly find its way out and about. This one, however, wasn't in a good situation. This one, they need to be thrown over the top of it. So, release the splats. And again, actually, this one's not going to be much use either. Uh, maybe if we just... Can we... Actually, can... Ooh. What's this? What even is that? Hang on a minute. There's a, there's a bomb up there. How's that going to work? All right, we'll see if I can... I'll see if I can just throw someone straight up into that bomb. But I'm not sure if you even bloody can, but I'll give it a go. Um, okay, so release the splats and then immediately fire the cannon. We'll see where the uh, the ball goes. The ball goes down there, gets thrown, goes this way, and then that guy goes straight up. Second guy, second guy, second guy. They run away. They run down there. They're going to get themselves crushed by the ball, but the third one's still coming. So we've only got right now two saved. Now, what happens, therefore, if... Actually, I feel like I'm kind of on to the right sort of thinking here. If I just delayed the point where I fired the the cannon in order to get the ball into the game slower, because the cannon's pretty quick, all I would need to do is if I could theoretically, like, catch that first one as he comes out. So first one goes up, we slow down that guy up there. We don't need to worry about him. Third one's on its way out. Second guy's coming up to the thing. Ball fires. Ball goes over here. Ball goes down here. Oh, this could be good timing. Oh my goodness, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. The three guys run, but they you can't run. You cannot run. Screw you all. Oh, yes. I like this guy. He got taken. That was perfect timing. Uh, didn't get the one guy and then the three. <laughs> oh, run, you little beasts, run. But sadly, I didn't get the perfect score because you needed to get one of them into the spiky bar, which I'm not sure how you would do, but all right. And then, oh, we've got bloody six splats this time. Six splats, and, but they've got a bit of an obstacle course to go on already. And we've got ourselves a mine, a mine. Mines are, are really good, reliable, easy kills. Some slippery stuff and three one-shot bumpers. The gradual objectives, only one splat can get out, fine. We've got to kill a splat with a rolly ball. Uh, where is... Okay, there's a rolly ball. That's absolutely fine. Uh, so we need to use something to trigger that there roll. Oh, okay. So actually, the, the, um, the harpoon, if we can get any splat into it, we'll fire, take out the splat and get the rolly ball going, which is... Which is fine, because I believe that's the way they have to go, actually. There's already a mine here which will take out one of the four. And then if I can just get the rolly ball timed to take out more than one person, kill two splats on the spikes. Okay, well that shouldn't be too difficult to do either. Then we've just got to do a... If we can do a mine into a thing combo, that's another benefit. And then master kill every single one of the splats. But one of them can get away. All right. It's all starting to get a bit complicated at this point. So the splats have no option but to drop down this hole. They just have to go down this hole. That's absolutely fine. There's going to be four coming in this direction. One of them will walk into that mine and be thrown straight up. Another one, it would be nice to think, is going to go from... Yeah, the second one that comes out of here can go to here and then up straight through that gap and that's what triggers the rolly oh no hang on i want that to be the second one we'll take the reliable save kill on the first one that comes up from this direction the first of the four so first of the four ends up here gets killed by the harpoon second of the four takes gets taken down by the mine first of these two will be taken out by that football because he'll get down to the bottom long before that happens there the logical place for the slime would be here because then someone, actually multiple ones potentially, will slide off straight into that their uh, that their slime. Though I could get them down, I could get them down into that pit. That could actually be cleverer if I could get the both of these two down into the pit. I'm not sure they'll be able to get out before I trigger the ball. That could be quite workable because I'm guessing that still counts as a slope. So get those both of them down into the pit. Okay, in that case. I'm just going to rethink this over and over and over again. Uh, in that case, I'm happy for that to be 
the second one that gets triggered. So that one gets, th that guy gets thrown up there. So first one dies, mine in spikes. Second guy gets thrown to harpoon. Those two guys, hopefully, will already be either in the pit or will slide into it and will be taken out by the ball triggered by the harpoon. That leaves only two people left over here. I want one of them to be mined straight into the spiky bar. All right. And another one, I can just put, I'll just put like a, a backup mine. Yeah, I'll put a backup mine over here because this is clearly the area he has to jump into. But what I would like to do is check the objectives. Kill a splat with the ball. Kill two splats on the spikes. I can do that actually because I've got a spare, I've got a spare one of these. I've got multiple spare one of these. So actually what I should do is the first one. The first one of these throws him into the... St I wonder if that's a kill. I'm not even sure if that is a kill. Actually, you know, I won't do that. I'll put a spike onto... That's a tricky shot too. I'll see if I can get a shot onto the spikes from there. If I can, that's absolutely fine. Because then there'll definitely be time for both of those guys to go down into the pit. And on the off chance we've got anyone left alive... I'll put a spike on this here platform just to throw them straight back and hopefully from that fall into the spikes. We'll see how that goes anyway. We'll see how all this goes. This is where it starts getting complicated because they are still interacting with each other. So this is a really slow one to produce. These four are being produced relatively much more quickly, which is actually very, very interesting. So first guy should go into the spikes, doesn't go into the spikes. Instead, does... <laughs> Also doesn't trigger the flipping harpoon. Those guys, however, do end up falling down into the pit. And <laughs> they ram it, they actually do have collision detection against each other. And end up falling against each other. And end up all of them falling down. Assuming I could get the ball to trigger at that point, this could all work out very, very nicely. Double mine explosion. Uh, well, actually, it just takes out one of them, actually. That guy, oh, gets batted in the back of his head by his relative, which is a shame. But right now, we just don't have anyone uh, anyone dead. Yeah, they're going to be absolutely fine. Okay, we need to rethink this. What we now know is that these two guys are so bloody slow to come out that actually, a sensible thing that we could do would be if we just put a trap there. What I actually want then is I want, yeah, I want these four guys who come out pretty quickly to go through here, one of them will hit the mine, but that's fine. That's just a free kill. The other three, I want to end up down here, coming down here. This guy over here triggers the harpoon. Hopefully dies at the same time. And that should leave enough space. With these two mines over here, together with the fact that I'm going to put a bonus spike, uh, bonus kind of uh, push into the spike bar, that should be enough hopefully let's just let's just see what happens anyway so these four guys are produced really really quickly yep fine super fast these guys are being produced much more slowly these guys make their way down towards the thing this guy's still only half produced this first guy oh jumps over the mine oh very clever but that's not it's going to take more than that to save you he jumps down there so does the third this guy's going to pop straight back out the slime's causing significant trouble for these guys. This guy comes out over here. The slime's going to start fading in a second, but it's going to be potentially too late. The harpoon goes, takes him out. Oh, yes. And the ball, the ball, the ball. Go, 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 ball. Go, 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 ball. Go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, that's taken out two of them already. That's taken out two of them, and it's taken out. Actually, where did the second guy... What happened to the second guy over here? I don't even bloody know. He's managed... How did you survive that? He's exploded and made it out. Oh, he's flipping fallen off the map too. Um, somehow that guy tanked a load of them. This guy's going to escape, but he's going to be the only one that's going to escape. So that is going to be... Oh no, you can't pass the graduate objectives anymore. Oh, that's a shame. What did I do wrong? Uh, graduate objectives. Oh, you have to kill two splats on the spikes. Okay, that's fine. So now I've got two traps set over here already working on blasting these guys upwards. So that's two guaranteed kills 
on that from these initial first group. I quite like using the football, but you know what? If the first two guys are distracted by being blasted into the spikes, that means the football kill might be all the more satisfying when it does happen. Though I will keep an eye on what happened to the second guy over here, because something killed him on the first setup. He goes over there, straight up into the spikes. All right. Second guy jumps over, also straight up into the spikes. That's an objective complete. The third and the fourth guy decide to go down the same route anyway, because I don't know, they're clearly not the cleverest bunches of people in the world. First guy jumps out, and second guy jumps out almost immediately afterwards. He gets thrown up. That takes you out. Second guy goes down here. Just, just luckily avoids the football. Two of those guys are killed immediately by the football. Sadly, he's going to struggle for a minute with the, uh, the goo, but the goo's going to wear out pretty fast. Because it does actually wear out over time. Yeah, now it's gone. He jumps up, but he has to now face multiple bombs and spike traps. So I'm hoping he could be... No, he manages to flipping survive. But then he gets blown up by the bomb. So we did not get the bomb spike trap combo. But we should surely get two, yes, two stars for that. Beautiful. And that there is the first set of missions. Uh, the basement complete. And I've managed to do well enough to unlock the next set. Control room. Where I'm guessing things start getting... A fair little bit more complicated tanks a lot, says the game. Let's just have a look at one of these in the new thing. So the newest creation, the tank. The tank is slower than the splats you've seen so far, but it's heavily armoured. Oh, so now we're getting into tougher splats. Okay, that's where this game goes next, I see. So we've got ourselves one splat and another splat. But these splats are going to be, presumably, a lot more difficult to deal with. And the only way I'm going to take these guys out, I'm guessing, is by very, very carefully, uh, yeah, is by very, very carefully making sure that we throw them into every bit of explosive that the game is kind enough to give us. There he is. There's the bastard. So, uh, splat number one is presumably just going to kind of come along, and he's just going to walk straight into that bumper and be thrown straight up into the mine that's on the ceiling. That's fine. And the tank... I would imagine is going to take a fair bit more damage than that. And there's... Ooh, you took that like a champ. Um, yeah, sometimes the bomb doesn't even seem to bloody kill the normal ones. The tank's coming up. But I'm guessing my goal here is he's going to basically tank these two mines. But the slide into the mine is, if I've got this right, going to fling him over into the lava pit. It's going to take more than normal uh, more than normal explosion to take care of the tank. Slide he goes. Explosion. And, oh, no. oh, oh, he can just jump, okay, okay, I see what you need me to do, okay, this time, the tank goes down the slime, into the mine, gets blown over here, straight into that, and falls straight into the lava, oh, yes, as someone who never really understood the appeal of trying to make the bloody lemmings survive, I quite like the idea of inverted lemmings, where you're just trying to kill them in as classy a way as possible, Quite enjoyable. Yeah, this could be an interesting one. Um, as I say, this isn't out yet, and it will not be out for a few weeks. But we shall see. Uh, keep an eye on this one. Uh, if you like the look of this, maybe make a note to yourself to check this out when it does come out later. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing more of this, and when I can get hold of the full version. Maybe I'll go back and do a little bit more. But yes, in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. This has been Many a True Nerd, and this has been the really nice, good, evil fun of 101 Ways to Die. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Don't mind me, I'm practicing my stabbing motion. It's fine. Oh, you shouldn't have got in the way. You must die. You showed up to a party and you brought a guitar. I despise you. There's two people who are just having sex in this corridor. They're going to go down. Stab, stab. There we are. Like Romeo and Juliet, but sped up slightly. It's, the, it's kind of the footnotes version.